This is a Donre ancient kingdom and this is Ojimo Barok. The people of this village believe that people are trapped inside this rock for over 800 years and until today, they still hear the sound of the people who are trapped and living inside this rock. I came here today with only one mission and that is to take you close to this rock so that me and you can hear the sound of the people who are trapped and living inside this rock even 800 years later. Wait, wait. I'm hearing a sound. I'm hearing sound from inside this rock. Bring the camera closer. After that, I will take you to 3,000 feet above the sea level to the ancient kingdom of Idonre. And this is the place where the people of Idonre settled over 800 years ago before they descended and now living down the hills. When we get to the ancient kingdom, we will find an unreadable letter of the flood, which is just a letter that appeared on a rock. And until today, nobody has been able to read this letter or even translate this letter. I will tell you again, people from different countries and different languages has been here, but nobody has been able to read or translate what this letter says. This bro is trying to tell us the, <laughs> the letters that is written there. What do you say you saw, bro? I'm saying I, I, I. No, no, no. N, N. Uh, no, that is not N. Uh, but I'm seeing L A, L A. After that, I will take you back to S A Boji, which is the place I showed you in the last video, which I told you is a narrow path that two people cannot cross at the same time. And while crossing this place, you are not supposed to look back. But when we get there, I will try my best to look back. And whatever happens, we are going to find out in this video. It is time to do something that nobody has ever done. So, I will look back in one, two. Well, let me come from three to one. Three, two, one. If you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and click the like button. And if you want to see more travel stories like this one, click the red subscribe button in front of your screen and turn on the bell notification that will come up next so that you will be the very first person to be notified when I post my next video. And without further ado, let us get into the video. So you will notice that this is actually people's community. You will see people living around all these places. All these is people's houses. Um, all these things is people's houses. All these ones are people's houses. You can see the little dog and over there I think that one is a grave. So this is actually people's community and this is the people that tells you that they hear sound coming out from this massive rock this is the ojimoba rock that i'm telling you about this is what happened i met up with john my friend you guys will know him the guy who gave me a very serious warning in the last video so if i step on it now what my will brother, happen to me you will follow us but you are dead uh, yes it's telling you but i like to do extraordinary things eh? if you want don't, to die, don't, don't try if that you, if you want to die while walking if you want to die. Me and John came to Ojimo Rock and we had to film this Ojimo Rock. The goal was to try to hear the same sound that the villagers claim they hear coming out from this rock. And while we were filming this rock, we saw an old man who owns this house which we are actually standing right in front of. The man asked us what are we doing. I told him I was making a short documentary about this Ojimo Rock. Then I decided to ask him some questions so that he can tell me what he knows about this rock. And the man started to tell us what he knows and his own personal encounter with this Ojimoba rock. And let me tell you right now, the person you're seeing right now is 100 years old. That is actually a century. And he has been living right in front of this rock for over 60 years. And if there is any sound or anything about this rock, I don't think anybody will know better than him. According to the story he himself heard back then was that it's war that moved the Dari people, okay. chased the Dari people up to this part. Okay. So those that are chasing them, once they got to this side, Baba. <laughs> 
Ujima Bayo, or Tene Reji Wadi. The rock turned flat. This Ujima Bayo turned flat. That you will not know that it's a rock and has different kind of friends. I want to ask me, this is a bit of 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 a Oh, me back, boy. Yes, we to go. Bear you. Not to go. So, eh, eh, but the Gunya not let you win. Not to go, eh, but the Gunya. No, let me. I can't bag you. I can't get there. Hmm. So, in those days, you know, uh, you don't pound yam around this area. Because once you do that, as you are done with your own, you hear it the same thing inside the rock. So which side? Which means they are so pounding inside in there. Okay, you see, don't need that book. So make your load, make your deck. He's an hunter. What make him believe more? So more agree at all the you book and not all the way you beg or go ahead. Now we climb to that part of the rock. There is grass on it. Bush, more than farm, up on it. More I walk on. We saw some other people there talking. Me, more do you want? You never see their face, but he's sharing their voices. You know what? He saw their light. So what is there? So that was what made him to actually believe that what his father told him about Ojimoba is actually real. Okay, this one is his own encounter with, with those people. Those people there because he has to he hear their voices. Okay. He saw light okay. while he was hunting. Okay. But he never saw them face to face. Okay. He said the same way this part is in the same way, it's the same thing at the other part of it. So you now see, they now use something to hold the light up there. Okay, they use something to hold, hold their light. Yes. Okay, but you can't see the people. You can't see the people. And him himself has been able to see them, he hear, hear them. Voice, okay. Not seeing them, but okay. hear them. He have encountered them, but yes. he didn't see them. Yes. Oh. yes. Can you ask him like how old is he and when did he was he able to encounter this? He was told me. Tell me, Ben. Ah, what you told me, go on. I told you, go on. Let's see, she had better notice it in here. You made your day. I had to go Ah, what is it? What is it? Now, bear me, take it back on me. Okay. He said, it's actually the parent. Hundred years now. The man is hundred years. And he sat hunting when he's still Mortis, young Mortis, and Mortis. agile. Uh, so that was when he noticed that. All the time when I was there filming this Ojimo Barok, I wasn't able to hear any sound. At some point, I did hear a sound though, and I was surprised and I was like, so this is true. But when I looked closer, I noticed there was a church down there and that sound was coming from that church. So I wasn't able to hear any sound. But after hearing the story of this man, and he is 100 years old, living in front of this rock for over 60 years, I can actually believe right now that the story of the villagers are true. And that is the true history of this kingdom. Right now, I'm going to take you to 3,000 feet above the sea level to the ancient kingdom of Idonre. And when we get there, there is a lot of things we are going to see. And one of the most significant one is the unreadable letter of the flood. This letter is a letter that just appeared on a rock and nobody has been able to read. Neither has anybody been able to translate what was written on this rock. So this is just a letter. It is right there on the rock. When you get there, you will read it. You can't. To translate it, you don't. To even say what you are seeing, you will always get confused whenever you look at these letters. 
when you come to this Edom Re'eshet kingdom, that is when you start to see some magnificent things. You start to appreciate nature. In this kingdom, you will see hill on top of hill. Take a look at all these hills now. Now it's looking like that time when we were down, we were seeing hills. And then when you come to the hill again, you see hills. Take a look at hills on top of hill in the Donre Kingdom. This place is beautiful. 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 Heading to very close to the unreadable letter now. So where we get to see the unreadable letter, then from there we'll get to see the wonderful rock. Yeah. Rock. Yeah. <laughs> the wonderful what? Rock. Road. Wow. We are going to see the unreadable letter. Like I told you guys, there is a letter on a rock where there is a letter written on the rock and nobody has been able to read or translate what was written there. And I'm showing you today, showing you today Maybe any of you can translate for us. Hopefully, you guys can translate. You can see it there. That is the unreadable letter. Different countries have been here. None has been able to translate what is written in there. You can go close to it. I, 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 like, okay, like B, I, 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 L, L, A, no, N, A, Y, T, B, N, N, O, B, N, B, N, B, N, B, N, <laughs> okay. Nobody is able to translate or even read what is there because, like, look at, look at it very clearly. I'm sure you are seeing it from the video. I see any. The first one looks like any. At the same time, it looks like I and V. The second one looks like you. At the same time, it looks like double I. The third one looks like I. <laughs> Everybody's trying to tell us. But you guys can tell us what you see. Where, are you seeing yeah, the where this where No wonder this place is unreadable. Read. This letter is unreadable. Yeah, and lad. nobody has been able to read lad. or even say what this thing means. And the thing is, nobody wrote this thing, right? No. Uh, nobody? The thing is just there. It's my father. And nobody is able to read or translate. I'm seeing I, I, I. No, no, no. N, N. No, that is not N. <laughs> but I'm seeing L A, L A. Yes. <laughs> and the thing is, nobody is sure if that is that is actual what was written there. So everybody is trying to tell what is written here. Some are saying they see I, I, I. Some say they see any, any, any. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nobody is able to translate or even read what is there because like look at look at it very clearly. I'm sure you are seeing it from the video. I see any. The first one looks like any. At the same time, it looks like I and V. The second one looks like you. At the same time, it looks like double I. The third one looks like I. <laughs> Everybody's trying to pronounce. But you guys can tell us what you see. Are you seeing the same thing as us? No wonder this place is unreadable. This letters is unreadable. And nobody has been able to read or even say what this thing means. When you look at this rock, you know, they call it wonderful rock. What makes it wonderful? You see as big as it is. When you get to this part of it, you believe it's falling to that part. Then the amazing thing is, if you go to the if you go behind it, you can bet it with anything that it cannot fall to this part, that it will fall to the other part. And you now wonder what is holding it. Just a little part of it is on ground. That's why they call it wonderful work. It has been there for decades and it's not falling. That's it. I think it has been there for centuries. Centuries, yeah, if you say that. And it has been like that.
So I would like to ask you something. Okay. What is this house behind us? Something very strange happened while we were crossing this house and this thing might be scaring me for the rest of my life. But since it's not related to this documentary, I will make a separate video to explain and show you exactly what happened while we were crossing this house. So if you want to watch that, make sure you are subscribed to this channel because you don't want to miss any single part of that video. Subscribe to the channel right now if you are not subscribed already and turn on the bell notification so that once I upload it in few days, you will receive notification that I have uploaded the video. At this point, I entered an ancient court. This is a law court and this court was brought to the Idore people by the Western missionaries. This is the time when they have now accepted the Western missionaries and then they were taught the system of court. That is the customary court, the judiciary court. So we will enter inside this court, which was built around the year 1906. And let's see what we are going to find inside this court. This is inside the native court, built in the year 1906. And this is where the accused person stands. Just take a look at it. This is where the accused stand and this area seems like the magistrate where they will sit, yeah. yes the magistrates sit at this side and or maybe this side the magistrate might either be sitting at this side or this side and then people would be all around here and i don't know what this might be maybe this side is the prison where they keep the person before allowing the person out. I don't know. You know, court has different... Uh... Yes, so there are many things you find in the court. So there are many rooms you will find in the court. But I don't know what this one might be serving us. But what you see here is where the accused person stands. And who knows how many people were standing at this place and were sentenced to death. I don't know. Right now, I will take you to Eseboji. In the last video, I told you Eseboji actually means a narrow path where two people cannot walk at the same time. When we get to Eseboji, I will try to do something. Like I told you in the last video, when you are crossing Eseboji, you should never look back. So when I get there, I will try to look back and whatever happened, Hopefully, the camera would be able to capture. It is time to do something that nobody has ever done. So, I will look back in one, two, or let me come from three to one. Three, two, one. Did you see that bed? What? What's that? <sighs> How on earth did I just look back and a black bird fly? But well, let me show you why this place you shouldn't look back in the olden days. Now take a look at this place and look at the other place. It is very narrow and this place, if someone push you, you are dead. So this is a very narrow place. And the reason why you shouldn't look back is when you look back, someone in front of you can just push you and you are gone. That is why nobody looks back when they are crossing uh, Eseboji. This is not Daguro, this is Eseboji. Daguro is the first checkpoint, which if invaders manage to cross Daguro, they never crosses this place, which is Eseboji. And I hope you now understand the story. These are not the only interesting things you will find in Idonre ancient kingdom. There is a place called Agbogu footprint. And this footprint was just like a law court before the westerners came here. And this footprint is believed to be a footprint of a past king who put his footprint on a rock before he passed away. And this footprint is believed to be magical. How magical is this footprint? It is believed that if somebody does evil in the community and nobody agreed to be the evildoer, the whole community will come here 
and everybody will put their leg in this footprint. And when you put your leg in this footprint, it will be your size. But that is only if you are not the evil doer. And if you are the evil doer, when you put your leg in this footprint, it will not size you. And when something like this happens, it is a death penalty. There is also a lot of other things which I did in this video, but that videos will come up as the behind the scene of creating this full documentary of Idonri Kingdom. All these things are so interesting when you watch it on YouTube, but it's even more interesting when you visit there and see it on your own. That is why me and my friend John created a tour package for you all who are interested to visit Idonri Kingdom. The date will be on October 1st, which is Nigeria's Independence Day. We will do this for two days. So if you if you were not able to come on October 1st, you can actually come on October 2nd. The price is very low, so you won't have to worry too much about the price. If you want to know more or you want to know how you can pay to be among the people that will take part in this tour, Please contact the email that is showing right now in front of the screen or you can contact the WhatsApp number which is right there on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed and learned something about the Idonre Ancient Kingdom. If you did, like this video. If you know any other person that will enjoy watching this video as well, please share this video with them. If you want to watch more travel stories like this one, click the red subscribe button in front of your screen and turn on your bell notification so that you will be the very first person to know when I post my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.